Welcome to my hundredth Math Counts Mini. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I have really big plans for this one. I was gonna go to nationals, I was gonna hold this big contest, and the winner would get to pick the shirt that I wear in this hundredth Math Counts Mini. But I didn't make it to nationals. In fact, nobody did. That was a real bummer. Not just because I didn't get to hold my contest, but I didn't get to see all these cool people. See, every year I get to hang out with the Math Counts crew, the awesome people who run Math Counts, but didn't get to see them at Nationals this year. Now we still hang out on Zoom every once in a while, but life on Zoom, not as good as the real thing. And I didn't get my new Math Counts shirt. They make some really good shirts. This one right here is my favorite. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, I also didn't get to hang out with all the coaches. You know, some of the coaches go year after year after year, so I've formed some really special friendships with a lot of these people. In fact, one of these coaches, I first met him when he was a student 26 years ago. And some of these coaches have been going to nationals every single year since I was a student. You won't say how long ago that was. And some of those coaches bring me shirts every single year. But, you know, this year I didn't get to find out what color Desert Ridge would be sporting. I've got seven or eight of these. Yeah, so I didn't, didn't get to see the coaches either, and I didn't get to see all the families. See, there are a lot of families who come year after year, not just because their one kid comes multiple years, but sometimes they have more than one kid who comes. So I get to see the kids grow up and become national competitors themselves, because you know, some families have two kids that make it to nationals, some three, and at least one family had four. And that is why I have so many awesome Puerto Rico shirts. Yes, yeah, the Math Counts crew, the coaches, the families, all very special, but it's really, it's really the students, the competitors there at Nationals. They get to meet all these kids who I've gotten to know through Art of Problem Solving, working with them in our online community, in our classes. I get to meet them in person. Didn't happen this year, and they bring me, they bring me shirts as well. So Nationals, didn't make it, didn't see all these awesome people, and I didn't have anybody bring me, anybody bring me any shirts. I did have one very special group send me a shirt. Sent me a shirt right here. The Elite Academic Academy. This crew, special students here. We got Cole, Zoe, Bradley, and Carter. Or is it Carter, Zoe, Bradley, Cole? Hook me up with this shirt right here. I got exactly one shirt so they win the contest. This is the shirt I'm wearing, and this mini goes out to them. Let's get started. Oh, wait a second. This problem has even more words than I just said. Oh, there's a lot of words. All right, word problem. We know the drill here. Got to read very carefully, very carefully. Focus on the key information. We got Melinda and her father are building a rectangular, rectangular horse pen that will have 12 posts along two sides. 12 posts, 12 posts. 20 posts along the other two sides. 20 posts, 20 posts. The posts will be 12 meters apart. 12 meters apart, and I'll have three wires. Okay, we're gonna remember that. Three wires between the posts. One wire near the top, one in the middle, one near the bottom. All right, besides the wire that goes between the posts, uh, there's an additional half meter of wire that's needed to wrap around each post on each level. I think we gotta remember both those. Each post, each level. Underline the key information. How many meters of wire will be required to make the whole pen? All right, so we got three wires, we got three levels. Let's focus on just one level. Each level Each level, we have two types of wires. We have the wires that go around the posts. So each post has a half meter of wire wrapped around it for each level. So we have that half meter of wire times the number of posts. Well, how many posts are there? Well, we got 20 down here, 20 up here, 12 over here, 12 over here. It looks like it's just 20 plus 20, that's 40. Plus 12 gets us 52, plus 12 more gets us to 64. But we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. When we go 20 plus 20 plus 12 plus 12, we have a problem here. 
We're counting the corners. We count each corner twice. Because each of the corners, well, it's in the 20 here, 20 here, we get these four corners. But then when we go 12 here and 12 here, we get the four corners again. So when we added everything up there, 20 and 20 and 12 and 12, we counted each corner twice. We counted each of those four corners twice. We only want to count each of those corners once. So we counted each of the four corners twice. We only want to count them once. We've got to subtract those four corners from our total of 64. That gives us 60 posts. What's that? Well, you didn't buy that explanation. You want me to give you a different explanation. All right, all right, I can do that. We got 20 on the bottom. All right, we got 20 on the bottom. We got 20 on the top. Now, let's look at the sides, but we've already counted the one on the top and the one on the bottom. When you take those two, the top and the bottom out, and you take those two away from these 12, you got 10 in between and 10 in between over here. So 20 on the bottom, 20 on the top, 10 of the in-betweeners over here, 10 of the in-betweeners over there. 20, 20, 10, and 10 gives us 60, still 60. That's the gold standard of solving a problem. You do the same problem two different ways, get the same answer, you know you got the right answer. So we got 0.5 times 60, that gives us 30 meters. So we're going to wrap around the posts in each level. But then you also have to worry about what's going on in between. And we know that in between each of these posts here, like from there to there, that's 12 meters. So I have 12, and then we just need to multiply them by the number of gaps. How many gaps are there? Well, we could just count them up. We go one, two, three. That's going to take too long. We're not going to do that. And well, I'm way too impatient to do that. But let's see. Well, you got 20 posts down here. It looks like they're going to be well, 20 gaps, right? Oh, we got to be careful. You always got to be careful. Look out for off by one errors. There are 20 posts here. Are there 20 gaps? Let's see. You start off from the first post. You go along the first gap. And you go from the second post, you know, you get the second gap. Third post, you got the third gap. And on and on and on and on. All the way out here, you got the 19th post, the 19th gap. The 20th post, there's no gap out there because there's not another post out there. There are only 19 gaps down here. There are 19 gaps up here. And then going up, well, same explanation. If we started going up from over here, First post, first gap, second post, second gap, get all the way up here, 11th post, 11th gap, end of the 12th post, 11 gaps here, 11 gaps here. So I have 19 gaps here, 11 gaps there, that's a total of 30, 19 there, 11 there, another total of 30, 30 plus 30, 60 gaps. Wait a second, 60 gaps, 60 posts. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I don't think so. There aren't many coincidences in math. Let's see if we can find another way to figure out why there are 60 of these gaps that we have to think about. Let's imagine we're going to take a little walk here. We're walking along here. We start from here at this post. We go along this gap, and we're just going along here just like we did before. We went out to the 19th, 19th post, and we got our 19th gap. Some words are harder to say than others. Now, we didn't find that 20th gap going this way, but if we turn the corner, there's our 20th gap. This post, you got another gap. This post, you got another gap. Every post gives us a gap. We're going all the way around. We get all the way around to that 60th post here. We're going all the way around. We got our 60th gap. So if we just think about walking all the way around the pen once, you're going to see you start at each post, you go to the next post, you get a gap. Every single post gets a gap when we're going in a circle. When we went in a straight line and we stopped, we have one fewer gap, one less gap than we had posts. But when we go all the way around, we get the same number of gaps as we have posts. Two explanations for the same thing came up with the same number. We know we're right. There are 60 gaps. Each of these gaps, 12 meters, 12 times 60, gives us 720 total. So we add the posts, the wire wrapped around the posts, to the wires in between, we have a total of 750. And if we write that down, we get the wrong answer. We don't like having the wrong answer. Always go back and look at the problem one more time. Make sure 
Make sure you got all the information you need. Make sure you're answering the problem. And we see this three wires right here. And we remember, oh yeah, each level, there are three levels. This 750, that's just one level. So our total for all three levels, we multiply that 750 meters per level by three, we get 2,250 meters.